Yeah, hi. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, just enjoy my Coca-Cola. Um, I mean, I used to prefer Pepsi. Uh, I mean, I like Pepsi. I like both, man. But, you know, let's talk about a certain guy who has a Pepsi tan, too. And probably one of the most overrated pieces of shits I ever, uh, I can ever think of now. You see, I used to, so yeah, CM Punk. Listen, I used to not mind CM Punk. I used to like CM Punk, and I still kind of do somewhat. Because sadly, he's like the only guy there in AEW that's somewhat relevant. But boy, him coming back and basically lately his match, uh, him and AEW and wrestling in general, made me realize what a bigger overrated piece of shit he ever is. And I ever thought of. Because, let's be honest here. The fact that this guy, you know, like he's proclaimed as the best in the world. Yet, this guy, you know, he's supposed to be so rich. This this great fucking wrestler. This great person that people have been crying for for seven years. And this guy goes on to fucking rip off Bret Hart. So yeah, CM Punk is ripping off Bret Hart. The best series, the best was, best who ever will be. Not only just that, he's ripping off Bret Hart in his catchphrase, saying he's the best in the world. Now, ripping him off his fucking matches. It was okay back in e back in All Out, when he was facing Darby Allen, I guess. You know, even though that was ripping off. But now, he's ripping off his match against matches against Warload, for God's sakes. Him versus Warload was literally a copy, copy of him versus fucking, uh, of Bret Hart versus Diesel. Okay? People pointed that out. But said, oh, it's an homage. It's a, he is a Bret Hart-esque or an homage to Bret Hart. As opposed to him ripping off Bret Hart. You know what I mean? They're giving that an excuse. When in reality, if fucking something was to rip off, whatever, it, like that'll be bashed. But if it's CM Punk and AEW, that's okay. It's an homage. It's paying homage, guys. Paying homage. With, yeah. What a fucking joke. Really. Him ripping off Bret Hart again. In, a, in that other match against Warlow, when it's literally a less entertaining, piss poor, a uh, piss poor man's version of Bret Hart versus Diesel. You know what I mean? Like, what a joke that match was. Like, seriously, what a joke. Like, CM Punk has been a joke. This guy is supposed to be such this great talent. This, uh, you know, this guy who's apparently people claim he's so original, so great. And whatever, you know, you, when you think a guy is so great, he's so rich. Yeah, this guy is ripping off Bret fucking Hart, for fuck's sakes. What a fucking joke. What a joke, this overrated piece of shit. This guy, what a joke. You're ripping off Bret Hart, for fuck's sakes. Bret Hart, believable, great technical wrestler. That's something I, 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 I mean, I will say, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to quote what WJ has said before in his live stream. God bless WJ. He made a great live stream. He's on a fucking roll. People subscribe today. But he's so fucking right. Like, this guy, CM Punk, ripping off Bret Hart, who's not only, who's arguably the, I, I get it. Bret Hart, great wrestler, you know, people are, and he inspired a lot of wrestlers. Great fucking wrestler, you know? Believable. Great wrestler. The face of, of WWE when, when he, when WWE was struggling to face WCW. Credit to Bret Hart, he tried carrying that company, even though, unfortunately, he was failing, because, like, Hulk Hogan was that big of a star, okay? Bret Hart, believable. Great wrestler, okay? Technical wrestler, one of the most... Proclaimed best wrestlers in history, okay? And you're gonna go on to rip off his matches and make and make lamer versions of those matches. Go the get the fuck out of here. Ripping off one, two, three, kid versus Bret Hart, and now Diesel versus versus Bret. What's next? You rip off fucking Bret Hart and fucking Shawn Michaels, which I that ain't go, That's probably gonna happen. Him versus probably Daniel Bryan. I mean, they already kind of did it. Daniel Bryan, like that's the thing though. AEW's kind of been doing that anyways. They've been kind of already ripping off Bret Hart shit, where they did an hour draw, but they didn't even fucking cut, have a tiebreaker, for God's sakes. Like, what a joke. And that, like, seriously, what a fucking joke this company is. Ripping off Bret Hart for what? And CM Punk, he's supposed to be claimed as this great wrestler. This guy, you know, people claim, you know, 
but yet he's ripping him off. Fans defending this as like, oh, it reminds me of Bret Hart, or pay homage. Yeah, the guy is supposed to be a star of his own. You know, he's supposed to be a star of his own. This great guy. And the commentator saying uh, it's Bret Hart esque. Like really, really, like and, and like this guy is supposed to be a star. This guy is supposed to be is in his own league, one of the best wrestlers in the world. Yeah, he's ripping off Bret fucking Hart for fuck's sake. Seriously. Again, it was fine at first, somewhat, okay, and plus the guy was rough, like he was not in wrestling for seven years and probably, he, you know, he was inspired by her heart, fine. But yet, yeah, doing it again, what a fucking joke. And again, the matches are just a joke. They're pissing all over the matches with that had Bret Hart in those matches, uh, making them piss poor versions of those matches. Like, get the fuck out of here. You're like... The fucking like against Warlord, like a shit small package. Like when when it was like when it was like the match was weak when he was weak and doing a small package. It was a joke. What a joke! The, there was no actual psychology in these matches. At least with fucking Bret Hart, there was actually in ring psychology. Cause the guy is actually a wrestler. The guy actually was fucking is and again is he proclaimed as the best for God's sakes, and he worked cause he was believable. Fuck, it's just fucking stupid. If anything, he made again Warlow look weak for fuck's sake. Like, what a joke. Seriously, there. Same thing as Darby Allen. Like, again, his matches, fucking punk, are equivalent to, like, copying someone's homework and changing up a little bit. That's the, his, that's, that's the meaning of this match. That's what P P CM Punk has been so far. If anything, also, that's the sad thing. CM Punk in general is literally this generation's Bret Hart. He's ripping off Bret Hart, you know? That's what he is, even though it's seven late, seven years too late. Cause let's be, cause AEW was around that time. But I bet you, if AEW was around, cause let's be honest, TNA was shit. He wouldn't have gone to pretty much TNA, cause he know TNA was shit. Let's say CM Punk was leaving W back in 2014. AEW was a thing, like it is now for some reason. Watch, a he would have pulled the front heart. He would have done the same shit. Cause let's be honest here. Look at it. He is fucking Bret Hart WCW version, and and Bret Hart sucked in WCW. What did that fucking tell you? What does that fucking tell you? This guy's a Bret Hart wannabe. For fuck's sake, what a joke! Seriously, what a fucking joke this guy is. Like he's supposed to be this great talent of his own, and he comes back and he's doing this. He's doing, and you know, he's supposed to be doing his own thing. Like he's this great wrestler, and yet ripping off Bret Hart. Like what a fucking joke. Like, the difference is, again, Bret Hart is a great wrestler. Like, he's... He's the wrestler that fucking Punk wishes he would be. Because at least he was believable. He actually had psychology in his matches. You know, the matches made sense. For fuck's sake, so like any, any matches nowadays in both WWE and any AEW. Made sense. Not every match needed to be fucking so long and boring. But it all made sense and believable. And Bret Hart, no matter how long the match was... Fucking whether it was ten seconds to ten minutes, or even four, a, 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 an hour, almost close to an hour. The match made sense. It was psychology. There was some. There was actually psychology. When he says that, it makes sense. Okay, because he's a wrestler. There was psychology tomorrow. Even though the guy wasn't great on the mic and didn't really have great character, the guy was actually, like you know, he actually fucking just tried to display you know him being the excellent execution. Him being the best or his best was very lovely. Like he was actually intense. That's actually unlike fucking CM Punk for fuck's sake, okay? And we're supposed to be Punk is this, you know, this great wrestler that's is the saving grace of wrestling. The guy who's gone for years and that he comes back and rip people and he's ripping off Bret Hart. What a fucking joke. Of seven years. Miss seven years. And you come back and you're ripping off fucking Bret Hart for fuck's sake. What a fucking joke is. What a fucking bitch boy, man. Seriously, you're a fucking joke, punk. I don't even know what to fucking say. I, I really don't. Like, Bret was the man. Punk, you will never be the man, for God's sake, straight up. You will never be the man. Just because you cut one smart, smart, smarky promo with your pipe bomb, which by the way is the most overrated promo in history, and it's like, doesn't hold up to this day. The only thing that the pro promo will be remembered for is because, oh, you did a fake shoot, and because you mentioned Cole Cabana, that was the first time people knew who the fuck Cole Cabana is, and because of that, you killed wrestling because you fucking awoken this smarky wrestling fan base. 
Because of you, the fucking smarks are a reason why wrestling is dead. Because you awoken these smarks. You gave them power by wanting fucking demanding guys like Colt Cabana and all this gay New Japan Ring of Honor shit. Then pretending to give a fuck about New Japan and Ring of Honor. It's because of you. So you could go fuck yourself, see a punk, you overrated piece of shit. You killed wrestling for fucking actual fans. You're an overrated piece of shit. You're garbage. Listen, I'm not saying you're the worst of all time. Yeah, you are fucking... Compared to a lot of AEW, but that's the thing. You're only good because everybody else sucked. That's the thing. You were only good because everyone else sucked. You were the only one there besides Cena that was only really good in WWE back in 2011. And then you fucking, and so on. And then fucking when you're now in AEW, the only reason why you're viewed in this high regard is because you're the only guy there. Well, only one of you guys besides Jericho and Sting that in this main roster that actually people somewhat give a flying fuck about. But your luster is gone. Your luster has been gone because you lost in that UFC fight. Your fucking luster is damaged. For God's sake, you were ruined. Seriously. Your pipe bomb is a joke. You're, you're, you were only good. I gotta write that shit down. I'm just writing something. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't even know what to fucking tell you. This punk is this fucking girl. It's like pathetic. Like this guy's pathetic. Ripping off those matches. Like <laughs> I thought you're supposed to have your own thing, or at least you know do stuff you were famous for. Like I don't know, do st but then you're fucking you know. You probably aren't that good. You're probably like really thinking about it. Like I used to fucking pretend like this guy was. Good, that good or whatever. Not like fucking great, but good. It's best in this generation, but yet, if you look at it now, this guy is a joke. Okay? And like, what's really cool about but besides him fucking do it, and apparently go to sleep again, is ripping off fucking Hideo Tommy K. Kenta. And him doing the Macho Man elbow. What's cool about this guy? And then, and the original finisher was just the pedigree from the top rope. What was, what would be cool about you? Anything, yeah, you probably got famous for just ripping off people. I know I'm not no one to say because oh, you're you're uh, you're just like the smart busters in WJ. But the reality is, I actually admire them. I give them credit, okay? Because I love those guys. Besides, they're my friends, and I love them. They're great. They're awesome people. They're better than me. I acknowledge that. I acknowledge them. But for Punk, he's a fucking guy that's trying to entertain people on television, and he's a fucking joke, okay? I'm just trying to entertain weirdos on here. Hashtag for the people. Alright, I'm just keeping it real. Overall, fuck CM Punk. Brought our fucking rules and, uh... Just, yeah, fucking Punk in general. This overrated piece of shit. Is he better than a lot of guys in AW? Sure. Do I dislike him? Not exactly. But boy, this guy is so overrated. And he's proven that lately. The guy is pretty boring, I'm sorry. I used to like Punk, but honestly, thinking about it, this guy's an overrated piece of shit. He's really not that special. Is he better than a lot of people? Yeah. Better than Brian? Sure. Better than Kenta? Sure. Better than fucking Adam Cole, gay, gay, M MJF, fucking Sane, Guevara, all these fucking queers in AEW, and even whatever in wrestling? Sure. But come on, let's be honest here. The only reason why he became a big star because the wrestlers that may help made him a star. Guys like Cena, Orton, Undertaker, Triple H, for God's sake. Even Brock Lesnar, Edge made him a star. Giving him that rub with money in the bank. They made him stars. This guy can't get a star on his own. Fuck. Fuck CM Punk. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.